Hello everybody, it's around 1.30 here and I'm currently on page 79 of Les Moralistes by André Gide. Um, I'm, you know, I'm liking it. It's, it's pretty good, so uh, I will hopefully finish this very soon. And then I have two books left, Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare and that Caribbean work, La Tempête. Um, so then I'll be done with Booktubeathon, so I'm, I'm reaching the finish line. I'm so excited. Okay, it's 6.30 and I just finished The Immoralist by André Gide. This book reminded me so much of The Stranger by Albert Camus and Nausea by Jean-Paul Sartre in that the narrators are really unpleasant characters and they do things that I find extremely irresponsible. They're, they, they have philosophies that are really problematic, but it's also oddly intriguing and riveting. Like, I'm always interested in knowing what goes on. I reread these books multiple times. I've read The Stranger and Nausea three or four times. I will probably read this book many times. Uh, the narrator in the story, Michel, decides that he wants to live only for the present and only for what he wants. He doesn't want to be controlled by the moral rules of other people. He just wants to do whatever he wants to do. And that is, you know, not always the best uh, ethically. And he meets people who share this philosophy. Actually, he learns from them and you just see what happens and they're not there's not a lot it's not very eventful as a book but he's just such a fascinating character i, I d can never give more than three stars to these books but these are definitely books that i revisit i i would say that if you like the stranger or if you like existentialist works i would definitely recommend the immoralist it is now 10 30 and after finishing the immoralist i started Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare and it is incredible. I have so many thoughts. I've definitely, I'm reading it at the right time in my life. When I was younger and in high school, I could barely understand Shakespeare, let alone appreciate what he was saying. And now I certainly understand what he's saying, but it just resonates with me. I think I have more experience with life, but not too much. I mean, I'm 25, but I've definitely experienced things like death that really give me an important perspective for understanding some of the themes that Cassius and Brutus are discussing in Act One. Um, it also seems particularly relevant <laughs> today in the United States anyway. Um, but yeah, I definitely will be making a discussion video over it. This has been a good day, so I'll see you all later. Bye now.